My name is Sausan Khalil. I'm a senior Arabic language teacher at the Faculty of Asian and Middle Eastern Studies. Helamna started initially as a place for families to come together and learn Arabic together in Cambridge. The research initially that I was looking into is the sort of the intersection between spoken Arabic, which we speak in our normal everyday conversations at home, and formal written Arabic. This is extremely groundbreaking. It sounds simple enough, um, but the way Arabic has been taught for such a long time, it's a very old language, very revered language. The formal standard uh, version of Arabic is very well documented, it's codified, and it's the language of education. So the influence of spoken Arabic has been minimal to this point. The way the Cambridge Social Ventures programme started for me was actually through one of the parents um, who was bringing their child to the uh, classes at the time. She was a director at the Cambridge Judge Business School and um, mentioned the programme to me and suggested that I go along. We work with social entrepreneurs, so people who want to build a business to change the world. And so we started their journey of taking the courses and turning them into a business, which entailed South and codifying what she was doing to the extent that someone else could teach. And the other part of that journey that we were really keen on being involved in was the start of Kalamna, where we thought a lot about how to incorporate the business so that we protected the legacy that was important to Sausen around the cultural heritage of the Arabic language and also the fun and the elements of how she engaged with children and got them to learn in an innovative, fun way. The way I found out about Cambridge Enterprise was actually through a talk. So I went along to the talk, that's where I met the team, and around about the same time I also saw the call from the Cambridge University Arts and Humanities Impact Fund. So I decided to go for that and Cambridge Enterprise were very supportive. Once we received the impact uh, funding, we were able to develop a toolkit that um, uses the underlying research that I've been doing around the Arabic language, implementing the phonics method to teach young children essentially to read and write in Arabic. So once we created that toolkit using that funding, we were able then to approach Cambridge Enterprise and to get a commercial license so that we're able to take that product and um, use it within Kalamna commercially, but also then to sub-license it out to other entities. And Cambridge Enterprise has really been pivotal in helping us to achieve that. We know that parents and families, um, teachers, schools, are really crying out for something like the toolkit that we've developed, but it just simply has not been done before. And so this is where we believe the biggest impact um, from this project, this toolkit, and more widely what we do at Kalamna will be. It feels more of like an exciting chance to learn a new language. I can learn all the Arabic words and I can turn it this way or I can turn it this way. It's teaching you but it's making it fun at the same time. Next steps now for Kalemna are to try and maximise our global reach by partnering with publishers in the Middle East to produce a physical toolkit that they can distribute in that territory. We've already had the digital toolkit being accessed and purchased by people, families, customers in North America, in Europe and across the UK as well. So we'd really like to continue having that global impact and reaching many more families with our research and our output.